Peter Pan. On a clear and starry night in London, Wendy Darling told her brothers John and Michael stories about the adventures of Peter Pan, who lived in faraway Neverland. The boys loved hearing her tales about sword fights and mermaids and the pirate Captain Hook. But they weren't just stories. Wendy knew that Peter Pan was real because she had found his shadow and locked it in the Darling nursery. Unknown to the Darling children, Peter Pan often visited to listen to Wendy's stories too. But he had lost his shadow during his last visit, so on that particular night, Peter and his pixie Tinkerbell flew back to the nursery to retrieve it. As Peter and Tink flew about the nursery. Wendy woke up. Peter Pan! She exclaimed as she climbed out of bed. I saved your shadow for you. It needs sewing. As Wendy sewed, she explained that it was her last night in the nursery. I have to grow up tomorrow, she told him. Peter quickly realized that if Wendy left the nursery, he wouldn't be able to hear her stories anymore. He had to do something. Come on, Peter called out to Neverland. You'll never grow up there. John, Michael, wake up! Peter's taking us to Neverland. Wendy said. But Peter, she questioned, how do we get to Neverland? Fly, of course. It's easy. All you have to do is think of a wonderful thought and add just a little bit of pixie dust," said Peter, shaking Tinkerbell. We can fly! Cheered Wendy, John, and Michael as they rose into the air. There it is, Wendy. Second star to the right, and straight on till morning," Peter said. Soon they were flying high above Neverland. The Darling children thought it was the most magical place. They saw Mermaid Lagoon, the Indian camp, and even the Jolly Roger, Captain Hook's ship. It was just like Wendy's stories. On deck of the Jolly Roger, the evil Captain Hook was busy plotting with Mister Smee. Blast that Peter Pan! If I could only find his hideout, I'd trap him in his lair," Hook said. Captain Hook wanted nothing more than to destroy Peter Pan. It was because of a fierce sword fight with Peter that he had a hook where his hand should be. As a result of that sword fight, Peter was also responsible for Captain Hook's other enemy, a crocodile. When Captain Hook's hand fell into the open waters, the crocodile had gobbled it up. And had been chasing the captain ever since. Luckily for Captain Hook, the crocodile had also swallowed a clock. So whenever the captain heard a tick tock sound, he knew he had to run. As soon as Peter and the darlings landed on Neverland, they couldn't wait to explore. Peter told Wendy he'd take her to Mermaid Lagoon. So John and Michael went with a group of Peter's friends, the Lost Boys, to find some Indians. But the Indians snuck up on John, Michael, and the Lost Boys and captured them. Usually, the Indian chief played along and eventually turned them loose. But this time, his daughter Tiger Lily had been kidnapped. He thought Peter Pan and his friends were the culprits. Meanwhile, Peter and Wendy were visiting Mermaid Lagoon when they saw Captain Hook and Smee with Tiger Lily. They had kidnapped her. Peter and Wendy followed them to Skull Rock so they could rescue the Indian princess. Tell me the hiding place of Peter Pan, Hook said. You'd better talk, my dear, for soon the tide will be in. But Tiger Lily was good friends with Peter Pan and refused to tell Hook where to find him. Watch this, Wendy, Peter said. He flew down and challenged Captain Hook to a sword fight. Hook fought Peter to the very edge of a cliff, and as Peter backed away, he was fighting in midair. Captain Hook followed Peter off the edge, but he couldn't fly. Hook quickly grabbed onto the cliffside with his hook. Then he heard a familiar sound: tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. I'll get you for this, Pan! He yelled before falling into the water. Smee rushed to save the captain, while Peter and Wendy quickly swooped down and saved Tiger Lily. The Indian chief was so happy to see his daughter again that he freed John, Michael, and the Lost Boys. Bravo! They all cheered for Peter. But Hook wasn't giving up. 
He had Smee kidnap Tinkerbell and bring her to the Jolly Roger, hoping she would reveal where Peter's hideout was. Welcome aboard, Miss Bell, he said. Then Hook tricked Tinkerbell into revealing Peter Pan's hideout. His evil plan was working. He laughed wickedly as he locked Tink inside a lantern. Meanwhile, at Peter Pan's hideout, Wendy told stories to all of the boys. But she was starting to miss her parents back in London. She told the boys how great it was to have a mother. This infuriated Peter Pan. Go on, go back, he said. But I'm warning you, you can never come back. Never. That didn't stop Wendy and the boys. They left Peter behind and raced outside, where Captain Hook and his crew were waiting for them. Captain Hook's plan to destroy Peter Pan was almost complete. Before Hook returned to his ship, he lowered a beautifully wrapped package into the hideout for Peter to find. The pirates brought the children back to the Jolly Roger and tied them up. Captain Hook gave them the option to either become part of his pirate crew or walk the plank. But Wendy proudly shook her head. Peter Pan will save us. Peter Pan will save them, Hook said, laughing with Smee. You see, we left a present for Peter. Peter Pan will be blasted out of Neverland forever, Captain Hook told her. When Tinkerbell heard Hook's evil plan, she escaped from the lantern and hurried back to the hideout to save Peter. Just as Peter was untying the bow, Tink flew in. Hi, Tink, said Peter. Look what Wendy left. He held up the box. Tinkerbell tried to pull the package away, but Peter wouldn't let go. Tinkerbell pulled harder. She knew the present was actually a bomb. Tinkerbell told Peter about Hook's plans and together they rushed off to save the Darlings and the Lost Boys. On the ship, Wendy and the boys were forced to walk the plank. Captain Hook, we will never join your crew, Wendy told him. As you wish. Ladies first, my dear, he responded. Everyone watched as Wendy bravely walked the plank. One step, then another as she got closer and closer to the edge, and then she jumped. But Peter Pan was there to save her. This time you've gone too far, Peter said to Captain Hook. Hook couldn't believe his eyes. Peter Pan was still alive. His plan had failed. John, Michael, and the Lost Boys fought off the pirates as Peter drew his dagger and attacked the captain. When Peter turned his back, Hook lunged at him with his sword, but the pirate lost his balance and fell into the water, where the crocodile was waiting for him. Captain Hook's crew was forced to surrender. Hooray for Captain Pan, the children cheered. With Hook defeated, it was time for the darlings to go home. We're casting off, Peter called. Hoist anchor, pixie dust. Tinkerbell flew around the entire ship, sprinkling pixie dust as she went. Then, up, up, up they flew, on their way home to London. Wendy, Michael, and John had to say goodbye to Peter Pan and the Lost Boys. Oh, but it was such a wonderful adventure, Wendy told her parents. Tinkerbell and the mermaids and Peter Pan. We sailed away on a ship in the sky. As Wendy finished speaking, she gazed into the night sky. She would never forget her adventures in Neverland with the boy who never grew up.